I apologize for my drink holder and my straw being in the way, but I didn't realize that was going to be an issue until I had my morning coffee and uh, coffee versus shooting video, coffee wins. Sorry. Anyway, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Miriam and I are heading out to uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, specifically Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Uh, Miriam's parents have a timeshare that they visit every August, and we are always invited to go down there and spend a night uh, and just, just relax, take a couple days off, and that's our plan. It's our first trip to the Outer Banks with a spider. Matter of fact, I think it's my first trip out of state on the spider since I brought it home back in May. And we're having a little bit of a difficulty with our Bluetooth intercom system. It won't pair again. And I Typically, I have found that because of either her phone or my phone being set to Bluetooth that it confuses the two, but that doesn't seem to be the problem. I'm Every time this pops up, I'm more inclined to upgrade to a hardwired system that does require configuring every single time I, uh, I turn it on. So we are on Route 168 uh, on a Sunday, which the traffic is bad going in the opposite direction for the people who are uh, vacating their weekend timeshares and coming home. Uh, we are going down, which is the exact opposite traffic flow. So it's light going this direction, and I'm watching traffic going pretty fast in this direction, coming opposing us. Two points I wanted to bring up today. Number one, one of the most asked questions that I'm, I often get, it's, it's surprisingly, is people will come up to me more than I ever expected and just simply say, what is that? Referring to the spider. Uh, I was at an intersection at a stoplight and I heard somebody go, hey. And I looked over and a guy in my age group goes, what is that? And so I thought, you know, maybe I should just address that in the video. What is that? So for those of you who don't know, we are riding a Can-Am Spider SE6 limited edition. What does all that mean? Can-Am is the manufacturer. It's uh, an abbreviation for Canadian American, but the name of the company is Can-Am, and it's actually uh, based up in uh, up in Canada, at, uh, in, in the eastern part of Canada. The actual location eludes me at the moment. And the parent company is BRP, Bombardier Recreational Products. They make a lot of stuff to include business jets. So they've been building machines for a long time. In 2007, they had the idea of producing a road vehicle to complement their line of uh, ATVs uh, and similar equipment. So they decided to make the, the Spider. The Spider was engineered from the ground up. He uses the Rotax engine. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Rotax engine, it's actually an Austrian engine, and it's actually used in airplane engines. Uh, it's actually used in airplanes. A lot of your uh, sport airplanes, home built, which has become uh, quite popular the last dozen years or so. Of course, I figure it's about the time I get out of aviation that it becomes start to become more popular. Uh, the Rotax engine is a very reliable engine, so that's uh, it's common to find the Rotax engine. This is the SE6 engine, uh, which means it's got a uh, semi-automatic transmission. You simply shift manually up, up gear to as you're accelerating. There's no clutch involved and you it downshifts automatically. You do have the option to downshift manually if you're in the mountainous terrain or you want to accelerate, just want to downshift, you can do that. Six, the SE6 part means it has a six-speed transmission, which is a, a good complement. Let me adjust the GoPro here. Yeah. This is the 2014 model. 
In 2014, they upgraded from the 900cc engine to the 1330cc engine. This is a three-cylinder, develops 150 horsepower. Uh, the overall empty weight is uh, 1,000 pounds. One of the questions I was asked, does it use a Harley engine? And I had to explain, no, it doesn't use anything Harley-Davidson. Nothing, not that there's anything wrong with Harley-Davidson, just that there are a lot of people out there that believe that if it's not a Harley, it's not a motorcycle. All the people who drive the BMWs and the Goldwing community, uh, I think would have a, a big disagreement with that. And I know I do, uh, the spider community that I'm slowly becoming familiar with, uh, we disagree with that. So another observation for today is we're only really doing an overnighter. It's 150 miles from home, or thereabouts. And uh, the Spider has five and a half cubic feet of interior storage space, forward compartment, rear trunk, and the side compartments, and a little tiny trunk up under the, uh, over the gas tank. A little, very small one, sort of like a half of a glove box. Five and a half cubic feet. But we managed to fill that thing up completely. So I'm thinking to myself, how are we going to get to the West Coast with this much storage space? And all we're doing is carrying an overnight bag in the summertime, and it fills up five and a half feet. So that creates a problem. Well, that's going to be about it for this video. My goal is going to be to release a new video every Friday, so we'll see how that goes. If you like this video, please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below. Again, thanks for watching, and you all take care.